Welcome back to my channel. It's nice to see you. Do you have a cup of tea? Do you have a relaxing chair? I hope you do. Today's video we're going to uh, kind of chill out a little bit. I have had a week and I don't know how much of it I should talk about so I decided I'm not. I'm going to talk about something that hopefully will make a lot of people happy and something that I just recently worked out I am a little more comfortable talking about and giving advice on and that's art block. Um, I've avoided making a video about this for the longest time because I've gone through phases where I don't believe in art block, where I don't think it exists. For those who don't know, art block is this uh, concept that well, you just can't draw, hence you are blocked from art. And a lot of YouTubers have made videos on this. It's, it's not a new topic, and that's another reason why I wasn't going to make a video on it, but I first off get a lot of questions about it, and recently, like I said, I've had a week. I've had a pretty challenging week, and I thought that I wouldn't be able to draw because of it. Turns out that's not the case. Turns out I actually feel quite a bit more inspiration um, to just sort of go for it and do whatever I want because I'm, I'm sick of not doing whatever I want. I want to do what I want. Um, so yeah, I wanted to just talk about some things that I've noticed I do that help prevent art block. So that's why this is preventing art block, not getting rid of it. If, if you have art block, maybe try taking a step back, trying some of these things and refreshing your mind to pretty much just give yourself a new perspective or to rejuvenate your inspiration slash love of art. Um, okay, so obviously, as per usual, my videos are a little bit off the cuff, so if I'm a bit everywhere with my thoughts, I'm sorry. But the first thing that I want to touch on is, um, okay, so you realize you have art block, you're trying to draw something and it's not working. First of all, how are you standing? Or sitting, sorry. Are you laying down? Are you in a really strange, strange, strained position? That was a lot of S's. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using my iPad for this, um, drawing. I'm making a sticker design. More on that later. If you are physically strained, you are probably not relaxed. You are probably showing signs of your stress that you can't create art in your physical body, body movements. My second question for you is, and this is a weird one, have you peed recently? If no, go do that. I, I frequently find that if I feel rushed because I am having a blockage of art, it's potentially because I have a, I am forcing myself to have a blockage of another kind. I, I know that's not very funny, I'm sorry. Um, but no, realistically, I feel like someone needs to say it. If you're uncomfortable, if you're not listening to your body and you have art block, how about you go listen to your body? Don't, don't think like, you know, I'll do it in a minute after I do this amazing drawing. It's not gonna happen. And also, your art can wait for you. Your art is, okay, your art needs to be treated sort of like a relationship is treated, i.e. healthily. <laughs> you don't, you know, you don't, uh, with your partner, you don't go the entire date without going to the toilet if you really need to go to the toilet. I mean, maybe you do if it's the first date or if it's a super new relationship. I get that. I've been that stressed before. But if you want a healthy relationship, you're going to have to sooner or later, go to the toilet and or go and have a shower or, you know, change your clothes. Maybe you're in pajamas. Have you been in pajamas all day? Change them. Now, these these are things that can also just contribute to stress and low, low moods and not great mental health. So these are the things I, I'm mostly going to be talking about self-care, but these are the things that I really recommend to you first. Check in with yourself and, you know, ask your body like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? 
do I do I need to walk out of the house for like five minutes and just walk around the block and get a little bit of sunshine one of my favorite artists right now Iris Scott who you need to look up because there are some great videos on her she's the finger painting artist um, she in one of the videos says that sometimes she needs to take a break from the studio and just go and walk around her grimy neighborhood and it sort of gives her the inspiration to want to go back to her studio because it's really gross out there. No, I, I don't think she said it's really gross out there, but you get what I mean. So this sort of segues into take a break. Just walk away from your workspace for five minutes. Try to stop thinking about art for five minutes. Now, I remember when I was in a really bad art blog, um, I heard this advice and I did, but I did this thing where everything that I did, I assumed it was going to inspire me to create this amazing masterpiece. I really hope that no one who is listening to this is as far gone as that. That's really far gone. That's really unhealthy. That's like you spend six nights of the week with your significant other and you spend the seventh uh, thinking about them, texting them, calling them, and asking them how they are. now. Or, you know, trying to work on yourself or maybe buying a cute outfit that you think they'll like or something like that. Now, I, I feel like I'm maybe drawing too many parallels to unhealthy relationships or what have you, but hopefully it's getting my meaning across. You need to take some time for you. As Mew Tripled, or Michelle Lamb, who is another one of my favorite artists right now, you should look her up as well, she's great likes to say, she says, there is no art without the artist. And that's true. You, I think, I think that when people have art block, they're usually putting their art above themselves. You need to not do that. You create the art. You look after you. So, I recommend you go stretch, you go take a breather. And another thing that I've noticed helps is to diversify what you're doing in your free time. So uh, a lot of artists, painters and all that will say, oh I just I love art so much that I I want to spend every second doing it. I really think they're exaggerating because think about it, we're artists. We're a bit dramatic, all of us. We we say things that maybe are a little bit over the top because that's sort of how we feel inside. But honestly, you need to make sure that you are not just drawing 24 seven. You also need to make sure that even if you have a day job, I have a day job, I've had one for a while. Even if you have a day job, you don't spend all of your free time drawing, you'll grow to resent it because then you won't have any meaningful relationships. You need to go and spend time with your family. You need to go and spend time with your significant other, you need to go to events that maybe you don't necessarily want to go to. You can't live your life. Now, I'm very much one for, um, uh, you know, time management and making sure that you are spending each hour to the fullest. But at the same time, even I have to accept that sometimes you just need an early night in bed. Sometimes you just need, you just need to do stuff that A, you don't necessarily want to do, B, you genuinely just need to do. I used to see yoga as a waste of my time, but I've been implementing it as a habit for about a month now. Um, and I, I find that it, it really, really helps. And it's something that I'm actually beginning to enjoy, which is another thing that I recommend. Have other hobbies. <laughs> um, you don't need to put as much focus on them as you do with art, but even just something as simple as reading, or in my case, yoga, um, maybe try meditation. <laughs> I've been attempting to meditate, I'm not as good at it. Maybe if you're a Christian like me, try reading your Bible a little more. I know that I don't do that very much. Um, try praying, maybe. Basically, you, you need to live a life that is separate from your art, from your art. And you need to remember to have that healthy relationship with your art. Um, even if you run a business, even if you do commissions, if you're, I mean, if you're strapped for time, yeah, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm not, 
really able to speak on that behalf. But just remember to have a healthy relationship with your art. And remember to take time for yourself. Remember to take time to not just go out into the world and look for new inspiration, but also to just go out into the world. So that's that's really all that I can say about Art Block because I find that more of the more of a normal life I've had and given to myself, um, the less Art Block I experience. So yeah, I really recommend trying that if you have not already. So, uh, a little bit about this art piece. I really enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun. It's just a cute idea of some plants growing out of a super old teapot type thing. And you can buy this as a sticker on my Redbubble, as well as other things. I believe it's also a coaster, um, a pillow, quite a few things. So please go out and um, check that out on my red Redbubble if you would like. Um, you can also buy things from me on Inprint now. I'll leave a link to that below. You'll be able to buy uh, art prints from me. I currently only have two up. And if you would like to support me, obviously one of the best ways is to um, go and buy stuff from me from Redbubble and Inprint. I feel a little bit awkward saying that, but I realistically want to do art at least as a side hustle. So I'm going to have to get used to this kind of thing where I say, guess what? You can buy this on my Redbubble. <laughs> um, yeah, but please remember that even just watching my videos really means a lot and it really helps a lot too because it helps get my name out there. Um, also, please leave a comment because I love reading your comments. Um, I, I won't ask you to subscribe or to like the video, just please leave a comment. I, I love reading people's comments and please tell me what you thought of the video and if you like this sticker. So thank you so much for watching. It is time now to show off my viewers um, artwork. So I've only got three for today, which is awesome. I'm just loading them on my computer now. <laughs> Uh, for those who don't know, if you use the hashtag MayhemDoodle on Instagram, you I will uh, probably screenshot your artwork and put it at the end of one of my videos because I like to give back to the community that, um, you know, has given so much to me. So Kitty's writing uh, said that she wanted to draw it, and I, I don't know much about it, but it looks pretty cool to me. Um, Drawing-ism drew, I, I think, Medusa, I think. Anyway, I love all of the patterns on the snakes. They're really, really cool. I've been into drawing snakes recently. If you've seen my Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. And golden-eyed grey cat, who I swear has been in every single one of these videos, not complaining, love your art, has um, drawn this beautiful snow scene and Oh, can we just appreciate that background? That's incredible. I love your art. Thank you guys so much for submitting your submissions. I love su submitted sub submissions. <laughs> um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you have an incredible week. Remember to take care of yourself and we'll ward off the art block together. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.